So there's this YouTube channel that I like. It's called Next Gen in 10. And what they do is they take an episode of Star Trek The Next Generation and they cut it down to about 10 minutes. Now, I enjoyed a few of these, but of course then I thought to myself, hey, I could cut an episode down to be way shorter than 10 minutes. And so I picked an episode from the fourth season. It's called Devil's Do. It's the one where some mean lady takes a planet hostage by pretending to be the devil. And I cut it down to about four minutes. Mm, I don't think I'll do it again. I think this is, this is it for me cutting down next-gen episodes because it was just too much like real work. It took a while to get it down to time. I had to make lots of passes, and then I kind of decided to smooth things. Uh, uh, I don't know. This, maybe this was a waste of time. But, hey, enough of my yakking. What do you say? Let's boogie. We received an emergency transmission from the science station on Vantax 2, sir. The planet is in chaos. These people are all convinced that their world is coming to an end tomorrow. These people actually believe they've sold their souls to the devil. As the hour of Ardra's return approaches, fear has overwhelmed my people. It has been a thousand years. The prophecies have come true. Now, there has been a series of uh, geological tremors on the planet. She has appeared. I myself have seen her. It seems Ardric promised 1,000 years of peace and prosperity for a price. Upon her return, she would enslave the entire population. Time's up. It's just a standard contract with an unusually long term. So you do purport to be the mythic figure, Ardra. Ah, uh, but I am. I would like to see that contract. I'm sure you'll find everything is in order. Data, I want a complete report on the contents of these documents. Report, Mr. Data. The language of the agreement is correct in every detail, sir. <laughs> Obvious and vulgar. Captain Picard? Sir, I believe I have found an obscure precedent in Ventoxian law which may be of interest. The case involves a contract dispute. Because the dispute involved an alien culture, the parties decided that arbitration, rather than the courts, should resolve the issue. Well done, Data. Enterprise. Enterprise, come in. There's a sudden jump in Z-particle readings just about the time the Enterprise disappears. But it could suggest a hidden power source. If you can get her to perform a few more magic tricks like that one, we just might be able to track it down. So I trust you have a bit more respect for me now. I call for an arbitration. If you wish this foolish arbitration, I will choose my own prize. And what would that be? You. You do not believe my powers are real, do you? No, I don't. You are out of order. <laughs> I have coordinates. Captain Picard, do you have any further evidence to present before I render judgment? Hi, Data. Jordy? Whatever's been going on over here gave us exactly what we needed. Jared, would you believe me if I told you that I could steal her powers? You are not Ardra. But I can create tremors. You recognize the same old bag of tricks? Objection, Your Honor. A team from the Enterprise has taken control of this woman's ship. Your Honor, I will just be on my way. The contract is hereby dissolved. You would have had a lot more fun if you'd lost. 